Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for being here on March 9th, 5.30 p.m. for our elite sales training with none other than the amazing, incredible, brilliant Susan Allen, um, who you probably know from watching her other podcasts. Um, she's a wealth of information. She's extraordinarily generous. She has an incredible sales background of success in traditional business and in network marketing. So this is a huge gift. Thank you so much, Susan. Thank you so much for doing this today. Really, really appreciate it. And, um, and I will let you say some more. Well, first of all, Linda, you are such a doll and such a joy that it is a privilege to be here for you. And some of you I already know, and you're all very, very nice too. So thank God. <laughs> really, really a joy for me. Really a pleasure. I was very, very successful in sales in the fashion industry for 23 years. I designed endless collections of every possible kind of clothing for women, for men, for juniors, for children, everything, accessories, you name it. I literally designed everything that could be designed. And I had sales teams that I started training when I was in my very early 20s, because if I was going to succeed, they were going to have to succeed. And if they weren't up to my standard of sales, it wasn't worth having them fired and hired and all that nonsense. It was much more logical to train them. So they became really great salespeople. And in a situation very different from LifeWave, where we had to develop the product and we had to manufacture the product and ship the product and distribute the product and all that other stuff, which thank goodness in direct marketing, none of us have to even think about. But in a situation like that, people live or die based on sales. So literally I became very, very skilled. And over that 23 year period, we sold $750 million worth of my products, including one item. We got a $5 million order the very first time from just one buyer. So these are the kinds of things that people will tell you, impossible never happened, couldn't happen. And I'm saying, A, it happened, it really happened, and I know how it happened. And that's what I'm here to talk about. Now, in the 90s, I was in direct marketing with another science-based company. My former husband and I became the diamond center, that is to say, the most successful in our area. And then we became the most successful distributors in the company. And it was a brand new company. Nobody had heard of it in America. Another nightmare. So again, we don't have that problem with LifeWave. Other people have been here for 17 years before us. We're standing on their shoulders. This is well known. And so when you think about how to promote something, how to share something, how to sell something, how to get commissions from something, all of the things that I just described that I went through in these two other companies were nightmares compared to the situation we have in front of us with LifeWave. And in a very short period of time, my former husband and I had 3,000 distributors. We paid our mortgage every single month with the product line. And the only reason I left it was because I decided to divorce him and it was the smart thing is to move away. But there's no other reason. And here I am. It took me all these years from 1999 to two and a half years ago when I found out about LifeWave to find a product line that I absolutely love, that I totally believe in, that is science-based and that I am thrilled to sell. That's my story. So Linda, you have questions, you're muted. Oh, I'm muted, sorry. Yes, thank you. That is an amazing story, um, super impressive. So. Uh, we were thinking that tonight would the one of the most helpful things um, would be to do some role play and talk about what do you say? Because the thing that holds people back is they feel like, I don't know what to say, or they have somebody that we we call the chicken list or somebody they feel intimidated to talk to, or they're not sure what to say. Some people it comes easy, other people it doesn't. So so we wanted to just like run through some what 
what I think, I think um, Susan Chu are some of the sort of common, um, I don't know, demographics that people talk with. Um, but and let's, so with but that... just one thing, before we get into the role plays, you mm -hmm. mentioned a few things that are very important. First of all, if you're intimidated to speak to someone, you're not ready to speak to that person. You just don't have enough practice selling LifeWave to speak to that person, whoever it is. Because if you're intimidated, you're not going to be powerful. You're not going to be persuasive. So start with your own circle. Start with your friends, your relatives, your parents, your neighbors, or anyone you feel comfortable with. Number two, people feel intimidated because they don't know what to say. And I just covered this in my Zoom that um, I did a few minutes ago. The all patch poster is the answer to your prayers. You don't have to memorize anything if you're going to be on the phone with somebody. So if you need to read it, you're not going to be in a Zoom. You're not going to be doing FaceTime. You're going to be in a traditional phone call. Please be in a traditional phone call. And then all you have to do is you have to take out the all patch poster that you either get from Linda or from me or from the LifeWave website. And you're going to be able to just practice, practice, practice. It's right there. And then read what's appropriate. And I just did a demo in my own show because of the same reason, Linda, you and I were talking about. If somebody told me last week that they didn't know how to describe the products, then by the next day, they should have already gotten that. They should have that. They should practice with that. And by the end of that day, they should know exactly what to say because it's all written out. Makes sense, right? It sure does. Absolutely. Um, yes. So thank you for that. And um, I know something that I've learned from Susan, and I think we can all agree that if, if you're really prepared, you're not really afraid to talk about something, right? If you're really prepared, you know your information, uh, you've done your research, it, there's nothing to feel intimidated or worried or concerned about. Uh, and and that is one thing I think what I've learned from Susan is I don't do enough of uh, is re do so little research and just a little bit of, um, you know, collecting data on the person that I want to call. So if I want to call somebody, um, I want to start thinking about what's important to them, because that's really what it's all about. It's something very valuable um, that I have learned uh from Susan and uh, it makes a big difference. I think it also, when I do that, it just puts my whole mindset in, in the intention of, I wanna help this person, I wanna serve them. And I've taken the time to serve them. I've taken the time because I've done the research, I've looked at some things that I think are important to them. Maybe it's a website or maybe it's their Facebook um, a, a, a profile or their LinkedIn. And, and I'm in that mode of, I'm serving them. I'm not there to sell them. I'm not there to get them in on my team. I'm there to serve them. And that's really where it, it that's important to shift your mind, I think. So, um, and it creates, uh, it makes you more authentic. And when you're authentic, you are powerful, powerful. And if you're speaking to someone for somebody who is one of your own brand partners, within two seconds, that somebody tells me, could you help me with so-and-so? Within two seconds, I say, okay, what's the name? What's the approximate age? Where does that person live? What does that person do for a living? What do you think that person's issues are? And then when somebody who is in my downline, if they would ever dare to say to me, I don't know, <laughs> They wouldn't say it twice, believe me. The first time they, they would hear that, well, we can't do anything until you know who the person is, what's important to them. It's data, 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 data. That's the whole point. Now, there's a wonderful person on this Zoom right now, and I had a lovely conversation with her, and she probably knows who she is. And she was interested in something I teach because she has an interest, a serious interest in that sport. And so I said, fantastic. Tell me about you and ice skating. And where do you live? Now, she happens to live in a place where it's cold in the winter, but everyone who loves ice skating doesn't. There are people all over the world who love ice skating where it's 
warm all year round, et cetera. But that gave me data. And then how long have you been doing that? And tell me about your coach. And we had the most wonderful conversation. It was, you know, a joy for me. And I see that she's smiling now. So I know it was mutual. I thought it was anyway. And, you know, that's how it goes. When you take the time to get the data, you benefit in so many different ways. And by the way, if you don't take the time, it is very rare for you to close a deal. Very rare. Why would they believe that if you're not interested in them, that you have their best interests at heart? You see the disconnect? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, uh, so shall we, um, what do you think? Shall we do some role playing? Yes, let's. Ooh. Awesome. Great. So I want to start with, and I, I know there'll be other people on the, on the call today too, that will have some, um, but I want to talk about how do I talk to, and I'm using a person that I know, but I'm just going to make up the name. Um, so we're going to call her Sally. Sally's in her 40s. She's got two kids. She's um, Her husband's been the money earner. She's been at home primarily taking care of the kids. Now they're, they're getting older. They're going off to college. And uh, she is, or soon to be, she's thinking about her next career. Like, what is, what is out there for me now? I want to make an impact. I want to do something that makes a difference, that me it's meaningful to me. So, Sally. You know, the most important thing to remember is that if you are a mom, you never have a problem with running a business. If you're a mom, you can ha always have a business because there are 12,000 moms and kids and play dates and sleepovers and sports events and you name it. And you are constantly around other people who potentially have the same needs that you do. And so that's it. So I think in this one, Probably, Linda, you want me to just be Sally because you and I know that you know what you're going to do. Okay, that sounds good. So I'm going to call Sally uh, and hey, say, hey, Sally, how are you? I was just thinking about you. Really? Yeah. Tell me, what have you been up to? It's been so long. Well, you know, I have decided that I want to, you know, I'm in a transition phase, right? And I wanna, I'm thinking about my next career and how I'm gonna have impact. And I wanted a career um, that was about health and looking as young as possible for as long as possible, right? Um, and I decided I want, was looking for, I wanted to find- Okay, so now wait, because this is a training, right? Mm -hmm. So too, ma too many words. Too many words, okay. For yeah. Sally, who doesn't have any idea why you called and is now right. starting to feel suspicious, maybe yeah. you're calling for your own reasons, not for my reasons, okay? Yeah. So just now get to the point where you let Sally speak and say how right. interested she is, okay? Yeah, sorry. I was kind of thinking we went through that part already, but we haven't, so we should role play it. So Sally, tell me, what are you up to? You're always doing amazing things. Oh, you know, just being a mom and, you know, my kids, there's wonderful kids, but I am really tired of spending all my time with my kids. I wish I could justify getting out of the house and doing something else. So tell me, what are you doing that's not, you know, related to your kids? Well, you know, it's so funny that you say that because I feel the same way. I was, I've been looking for something to do and you know how I love health and I uh, want to have an impact and stay young. And I found something really amazing. And I would love to tell you about it if you, you know, if you would like to know. So now if you could, and so this is Susan again, if you could come up with something you remember about Sally mm. that would make it personal then it would sound natural because, mm -hmm. you know, it's like when I was speaking about ice skating, I was an ice skater. So that was easy. Now I'm not an ice skater anymore, but I was a dancer for a lot more years. And my friend, Samantha, who's doing this masterclass with me for skaters and coaches, she's a, you know, former big deal skater, et cetera. So it's like, what's appropriate to the listener 
And it has to be something valuable to the listener. So Linda, if, can you think of something that, because it is your friend, Sally, you know, that she might really be excited to hear. Uh, um, so much harder when you're doing role play. It's so much e easier when you're talking to people. Uh, um, well, Sally, you, I know that you are always, you are, everyone looks to you for health and wellness because you're always so fit and, and you inspire everybody to be healthy and look great. And so it just, I was just thinking about you and I just, you know, when I think about somebody, I feel like I'm supposed to call, like there's some connection that we have that we should be. But again, be now. careful because that's too many words again. Okay. Be careful. So that everybody doesn't come up with too many words. That's a, that has to do with the brain dominance. I also have that challenge, Linda, as you know. And so I have to really watch myself. So some people don't say enough words. Some people aren't warm enough. Linda's very, very warm and very connected. Some people don't know how to do that. I have to train them how to do that. Some people don't give enough data. Some people give too much data. It's about you matching yourself to your prospect, to your listener, okay? So what's the word you're going to say to me, Sally, Linda, that's going to make me go, I really need this? Um, let's see. So, you know, I have to tell you, Sally, um, this has completely changed my health. It's changed my energy. It's changed my muscle tone. And we know that that's harder as we get older. And it's changed my skin. Wow. Okay. How much, where do I buy it? Exactly, that's perfect. No, that's perfect. Because you really got focused. That's what you did, Linda, that worked. You were warm, friendly as you always are. You were connecting as you always are. You were upbeat as you always are. You were caring as you always are. And then you got focused. So that's mm -hmm. what is essential, okay? Okay, that was really helpful. That was good. How did it feel? When you know, not not when I kept interrupting where you could drive people crazy, but for the purposes of training people, it's essential. So how did it feel when you got that connection and I said, okay, I you know, I want it? Uh it felt great. It felt great. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I mean, you know, you can you can ask for questions, Linda, anytime you want, or um just go on to the next role play, whatever's best for you. Should we, should I say something like, um, so Sally's like, yeah, great. Uh, sounds great. Uh, let's meet for, do you want to meet for coffee or, um, I'd love to bring you a gift or what's your recommendation? Uh, you know, I'd love to bring you a gift and get together for coffee. Are you, are you free tomorrow morning? I could bring her, you know, a card mm -hmm. with a, a one sample and, um, and then engage her that way. If we're close absolutely. You know, absolutely. I do not meet people in person. I don't have the energy. I don't have the time. I run another business. It's not my thing. Even if I didn't run another business, it's not my thing. Mm -hmm. Marcy Preble seems to meet 400 people a day. And she's got a huge downline, right? So I'm not in any way saying good, bad, right, wrong, do, don't. I'm not saying that. I'm saying just know that it isn't essential, that you don't have to do it one way or do it the other way in order to make great commissions in any business. And that includes. Awesome. So, yeah, yeah so you can say, uh, you know, bring, I'd love to bring you a gift. Let me meet you for coffee. Da, da, da. And she says, fantastic. And so they do that. Right. Because she's my good friend. So uh yeah okay. exactly exactly and of course the great thing about actually meeting someone for a period of time is you've got all that time in the restaurant or the coffee shop where they are literally a captive audience so that's a big big plus having a captive audience right now again if you don't know what it says on the all patch poster then you need to be on the phone then you're not offering to meet her for coffee. Right then and there, you're going to say, okay, let me tell you about these amazing patches. 
let me tell you what I recommend because this is what I do and this is the results I've seen and this is how much they cost and blah, blah, blah. And you've okay. got your order form in your hand. So I think yeah. we should say that before I get on the phone with anybody about LifeWave, I've got five or six pieces of paper ready at hand. I've got a blank order form. I've got the page that explains all the different commission options. I've got the couple of pages about becoming a senior presidential director in, you know, five easy steps, two minutes worth, <laughs> you know, that. <laughs> Certainly all the information about the X39. And of course, the all patch poster. I also have my own personal 12 pain relief protocols. And if you need that, you don't have that yet. I always say, email me. Susan at SusanAllen.org, and that's A-L-L-A-N, and you will receive them from me. They are life-changing. So those are the things I always have in front of me. Now, if I'm going to meet somebody, I still have them in front of me. I have them in my handbag. Absolutely. Absolutely. I always have them at the ready as well, uh, because people will say, great, I'll let me get started. You don't want to be fumbling. You want to just be able to write down their information on the order form. So that you don't forget what to ask for. You don't forget to ask for their birthday or, you know, do they, is their billing address the same and all that stuff. So uh, and that is, that is a really good, 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 uh, great point. Thank you so much. Um, all right. Can I try again? See if I. Yeah. yeah, you're great. You're doing a great job. It's giving me a perfect opportunity to, to annoy you, jump in and add some more points. Awesome. <laughs> perfect. So um, my friend, Chris. Um, he's an old friend from high school, so he is in his later 50s, um, and he is a restaurant owner. He owns an Italian restaurant. And I love that example because people who own restaurants are physically and emotionally exhausted each and every day. And even the people who are just, you know, working in the kitchen at whatever level. They are physically and emotionally exhausted. You know, anybody who's seen any any of the shows, I mean, just, you know, all that, yes, chef, it's like being in the army. So I like, <laughs> so stressful. And, you know, the owner is getting up at like four in the morning to go to the market to get fresh produce. And then he or she on their feet all day and the tremendous stress. And it's a cash business, which is great news. But it's also very stressful because you don't want to lose the cash. You don't want anybody to steal it from you. So there's a lot, a lot of issues. And when you own any kind of a restaurant, there's a lot of potential mob involvement in a lot of cities in America. So it's a mess. They really need LifeWave. So yes, let's do this. So I'm Chris, and you're going to call me and... Uh, hey, Chris, um, I was thinking about you. I just went out to eat the other night at an Italian restaurant um, near me. And I thought, wow, I know you created that amazing restaurant. And I see your, you know, posts on Facebook. And I think, gosh, that's just so amazing. You did such a, an amazing job. How are you? How is it going? Tell me, tell me what's going on. And he says he's doing great. But you know, I'm tired. It's a long haul and we've got these four children and, uh, you know, thank God I can escape to the restaurant. But, you know, when you think about that, I've got these four children at home. There's so much noise. And my idea of relaxation is to escape to the restaurant at like four o'clock in the morning and go to the market. That seems insane. So it's, you know, it's tough. It's been a long time since we were in school together. So it's tough. Well, uh, I, I admire that, you know, you're such a good family person and um, you take care of your family and you really have created something amazing. It just so happens that I am going to be in the area um, in like three weeks and I would love to come to your restaurant and I would love to know like when would be a good time for me to bring my family that you could actually sit with us and talk with us because I would just love to catch up briefly. I know you're really busy, but what would be a good time or is there a good time? That sounds like a, the reward I deserve. So yeah, why don't why don't you come at the either the end of lunch or the end of dinner, and you know I can text you the times, 
and whatever's convenient for you. And you're all my guests and I'll make you something special. So think about what your favorite Italian food is from Southern Italy and we will have it for you. And Ooh. I presume you'll have your kids and your husband too? Yes, well, I'll be there. Wonderful, look forward to it. And your kids aren't so young anymore. So I don't have to be thinking about SpaghettiOs from the can, right? No, they're, they, are, they are not. They're in their 20s and they Perfect. eat a lot of food. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So, Perfect. That'll be great. Yeah. So thank you. And so, Susan, in this case, because I haven't seen this friend since, you know, a bazillion years ago, and he's probably, you know, he's, he's answering at the restaurant. I'm not going to jump into it right now. And I just happen to, I keep thinking of examples of being in person, but if I'm going to be in person, then I have the opportunity when I go see him in person to have him complain about the aches and the pains and all that but we already know what it is so this is yeah. the 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 big distinction is this idea that people have that they have to ask questions no you don't the idea that if you ask questions about people's problems that they're going to tell you no they won't so don't want you can guess from the data you have about someone or the data you can gather on social media, what's up with them. And you guess because that's called empathy. And that's part of my six part conversation, which I, I teach and probably Linda will do another training where I can teach the different brain, uh, you know, aspects that adjust people's and, and determine people's behaviors and their preferences, and also how to communicate with them. But it's very straightforward. If you've been alive for five minutes, you've known what it's like to be in a restaurant. Even as a child, you probably went to a restaurant and you know there's so much going on around you. And you can imagine that anyone that owns a restaurant is under tremendous stress. Then if you think you have a prospect and the person owns a restaurant, you can watch any one of 50 movies about it or a number of TV shows about it or series about it. You know, this is about data gathering as Linda and I have each said. If you're serious about doing business, your number one job is data gathering. Your number two job is learning how to communicate powerfully, peacefully and effectively with other people so that you are heard as an expert. You know, people listen to me. They're never going to think I'm not an expert, right? Because I wouldn't talk about it if I weren't an expert. There's a gazillion things I don't know anything about, but you're not going to hear me talk about them. Certainly not speak about them, orate about them, not train about them. I'll be quiet. So your job is to become an expert in life wave patches. And because we have so many things available to us, it's not a big job. You can have, you know, Cliff notes, as I said. Absolutely. And that is the beauty of, of our virtual world where we get to be on Zoom or be on the phone and have all our papers in front of us and um, sound brilliant all the time. Uh, so <laughs> it's it's a great thing. Uh, so I know there are other people who have, I just want to do one more. Okay. Maybe. Um, of course. So, so we're going to call him Joe, Joe's personal trainer. Um, and he actually is somebody that I worked with uh, several years ago when I injured my shoulder. And he really is passionate about injury recovery uh, as a trainer. Um, and um, he really made a huge difference for me. And I've told everybody about him. I've sent lots of people to him because he healed my shoulder better than any other practitioner that I went to. So I think he's amazing. Uh, and uh, so you can be Joe now. Um, uh, and so Joe, Hey Joe, uh, I've been thinking about you and I'm um, just wondering how are things going post pandemic? Like how's the personal training world? Um, you so know, I would be more specific. Okay. He healed your shoulder. It would be appropriate to call him if you're calling him to say, I was thinking about you because I'm so grateful that you healed my shoulder. I was getting to that, but maybe say it sooner, start, right? Too yeah, much. Start, yeah. Start, yeah. Start okay. with it. Start with it. Yeah. So, um, and yeah. So, so, hey, Joe, um, I was just thinking about you and, and I'm just feeling so grateful about how, uh, how amazing you were in helping me heal my, my shoulder. Is this a great, good time to catch you? Do you have a couple minutes? That's perfect. Do you see the difference, Linda? I do. 
Okay, cool. So the difference is that for me playing the role of Joe, and you know, when you do a role play, whoever you play, you become that person. You get into that person's head. That's what it's all about. And for me, it was not like she was calling one of 16 people and she's on, a, you know, she's busy, she's on a roll. And if it doesn't work with me, that's okay. She's got 14 more to call. And that, of course, is the anathema of sales. If you have that, I'm a man with the plan, nobody wants to speak to you, let alone purchase from you. But when she made it so personal that it was just about me, Joe, and I had changed her life, now it's like, oh, it makes perfect sense. Or that she's going to be in the neighborhood where my restaurant is, or that she also has children and thought of something she wanted to do in order to not be home with her kids every day, all day long. So each of these three role plays, this is what I call the way in. There's always a way in. If you want to speak to people and you like people, there's always a way in and your job is to find it. And your job is to find it, not on the phone with them, but before you get on the phone with them. And most people in sales do not know this. This is a golden nugget for you. If you take the time to research someone before, you've got your notes, and then you pick up the phone, you've got about a 3,000% improved opportunity. Makes sense. Okay, back to Joe. So yeah, thank you. I'm so glad to hear from you. Glad you're still feeling good. So Joe, uh, I was thinking about you and how grateful I am. And I wanted to tell you about this extraordinary technology that I found, um, a wearable light technology that can heal the body. In these wait, wait, ways. wait. You're going into a generic description when you, okay. in my opinion, have an even better opportunity. You know, since I saw you and you healed my shoulder, I mm. discovered something that is actually healing my entire body. And that's what I was wondering if I could describe to you, if you have a few minutes. So the more that you can drill down. Now, Linda and I talked about this show. We came up with some things to talk about. I, that's why I know about these role plays. But since then, I've had an opportunity to drill down on the data, read it again and again. And so I'm adding things that I didn't suggest to Linda or she didn't suggest to me at the time. There's always more. There's always further you can go. So give that a shot, Linda. See how that feels. Um, so I found this incredible technology. And since I worked with you and healed my shoulder, I found something that's healing my whole body that's activating my own stem cells. And I know you're so passionate about helping people heal. I would love to bring you a gift. And I would love to tell you, give you some more information about this technology. I think it could be extraordinary for possibly for you and certainly for your clients, if that's something that would make sense to you. And I wouldn't go negative. I okay. would say, I want to bring you a gift. This changed my life. This can change your life because you're an athlete. This can change the lives of every single one of your clients. Okay. Full stop. That's it. Never give them a reason why not. Because yeah. we're talking about a miraculous product line. We're not talking about, oh, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a better Kleenex. Yeah. yeah, this is something that doesn't exist anywhere else and it's life-changing, you know? Make sense? Absolutely. Okay, perfect. Thank you for being the guinea pig. Such a gracious guinea pig. Okay. Thank you for letting me, uh, everyone. I, so I'd love to give some other people opportunity. Uh, it's really good. And, and don't don't be shy um, because, you know, it's um, amazing to do this and get this feedback. Uh, it's it's just invaluable. So, so let's... Um, and you'll make more money. If I work with you personally, you'll make more money and you'll make more money faster. So let me just remove the spotlight momentarily. And could you raise your hand? or put the hand up for if you would like to do a role play. Amelda, she's gonna be the first brave one. Good job. Ooh. Hi, Hi, Susan. 
<laughs> I'm doing your breathing technique right now. <laughs> um, so I, I have a question. Oh, to you and seeing you too. That's all. <laughs> yeah, you too. Um, I have a question. Question. Um, uh, I reached out to someone I know who I've worked with before, and she, her, I'll call her Evelyn. She's a dynamic um, fitness trainer. She's now, uh, at the time when I met her, she wasn't, but she's a high profile influencer in the fitness industry now. And she works with uh, women over 40, um, helping them reach their their fitness goals and their, um, let me see, I'm going to say, what, oh, and achieve a healthy lifestyle. So that's like her main goal. And so what I wanted to ask is that I reached out to her initially by Gmail, I mean, uh, by email, and then, oh, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Okay. I'm taking and, notes. <laughs> okay. And then I also um, sent a voice message, I think, on Instagram, because I was like, I don't know if she's going to answer. And so she got back to me on Instagram, like the next next day we're in two different countries so she got right back to me and then um so we were doing uh, audio messages and then i think i made the mistake of saying oh read my email and i sort of oh i did what you were talking about earlier where i was like typed so much stuff in um like so she, wait she's in a, she's not in the united states no mm -mm. can you tell us what country she's in because it matters makes a difference. Oh, okay. In the UK. Okay. So she's in the UK. So not such an unusual culture for anybody here to understand. Mm -hmm. So the data we have, Evelyn, she lives in the UK, fitness trainer, influencer, women over 40, healthy lifestyle. So she's a perfect prospect for you. And one more thing, this is important. Mm -hmm. She's a former, uh, like a uh, fitness bikini, well, bikini cont contest winner. Like she's uh, has got her pro card and, uh, in that in in that competitive, you know, so, uh, bodybuilding bodybuilder. Body okay, so wow, so she's a former bodybuilder. Yeah. Yikes! All right, <laughs> seen those pictures. Okay, we've all seen those pictures. So, well, she's it's in the bikini, like um, the the she's not she's more like in the svelte. Okay, we're not we're not talking about massive steroid development then. No, in the natural, like oh, okay, totally, okay, totally then, natural. See, yeah. really important distinction. Okay, really important distinction. Okay, good. Um, so she's she's. I mean, I would have made it perfect for you one way or the other, but this is you know this is really perfect, easy because here's somebody who's over forty, presumably or right around forty. Fifty six. Say that again. Fifty six. Oh boy. So this is a woman who has been dreaming of life wave patches and didn't know they existed and didn't know where to find them. And you are the answer to her prayers, Melda, and handle it as if you are the answer to her prayers because it makes perfect sense. Now, I don't know what you said. I don't know what you wrote. And that would be something I'm inviting you to send it to me after this Zoom. So I can really look at it. And when you say, oh, I think I did something that's a mistake, my guess is you haven't spoken to her yet. Is that right? Um I wait just I, just one second. Would okay. somebody make sure they mute themselves? Yeah. Ramona, I think it's you. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead, Matt Walter. So we we spoke. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, we didn't speak. We audio exchanged on IG and then right. she was going to read my gmail and then i haven't heard back from her right and the mistake you made it's true the mistake you made is you were on a roll and my guess is you didn't know what to say on the phone which is why you didn't move it into a phone call faster is that possible no no we were we were no i'm sorry let me explain it better we were um exchanging audio messages on instagram so i didn't I didn't ask her the great question about what's a good time to. Uh, yeah, but what was your reason? But I think you need to look at what was your reason? Because I've spoken to you on the phone. You're fabulous, right? Yeah, You're a fabulous you. person to speak to on the phone. I'm speaking to you now. You're great. So 
you had you told yourself some story, whatever mm -hmm. that might be, that made you not even invite her, ask her, request her to be on the phone with you so you could tell her all about this amazing product line that is huge, not only with athletes, it's also huge with people who are older and who have pain, aches and pains and injuries and this, that, and the other thing. And I'd love to tell you, Evelyn, all about it. Can you please let me know some convenient times? And I know there's a, I think it's a 10 hour time difference between us. So I'm guessing your morning or your night would be the best options for me. But you, you know, you're a smart woman, Imelda. You're a, a lovely woman. So you had a reason, some story you told yourself that is why you didn't move into that next step. So next time, just know you have to. That's the next step. Okay. Um, it's it's a lot like online dating. You don't waste much time. I teach online dating. I teach all the relationship stuff, all the communication stuff. You're not online dating because you have nobody to email in your life. You're in online dating because you want a partner. So if you see somebody wanting to have, you know, five emails with you, that's not a candidate. What's up with that? Don't waste your time. Here, it's the same thing, but the flip. So she expected you to reach out and say, blah, 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 I'd love to tell you about it. Uh, perfect personal trainers, bodybuilders, personal uh, athletes, Olympic athletes, da, 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 boom. I'd love to speak to you. Right? Does that make sense? Yeah, I think I'm still afraid that I'm, I'm not, even though I'm prepared, I don't have, oh, you can see that. <laughs> um, I still feel like, uh, I mean, because I reached out to her because I'm like, oh, my God, this is like you have to know about this because, I mean, your clients are going, you know, everybody in the natural bodybuilding has, you know, oh, you can feel my enthusiasm. Yeah, but, yes. But then, but then I, you got scared. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so you you felt scared. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with feeling scared. And you said you're doing brain breathing, which is my breathing technique. And anybody who wants that. You know, you want the video, learn how to do it. And the document that explains it, yeah. email me, susan at susanallen.org. And it's A-L-L-A-N. And that's how Imelda got from feeling afraid about being called on today and raising her hand being called on. <laughs> yeah. I mean, True. so what if we're afraid? You know, who cares? Nobody cares. We have goals. We have intentions. We have a vision of our future. And the only way to have the future we dream of is to get more skills, get more tools, get more support and go for it, right? Yeah. So, yeah. It's, what you so did. it's I didn't totally mess up, right? I mean, cause no. I really want, I really want to share this with her. So at this point, should I just reach, reach out or I need to- You have to send me forward. what you already okay. reached out with. Okay. It's we'll not a, con you know, sales is not conceptual. Okay. And Linda can attest to this because Linda knows that when I first started working with her, the first things I said to Linda, or, you know, that's great that you have great ideas. That doesn't sell anything. It's great that you have the big picture well in hand. That doesn't sell anything. What sells people is a connection, one on one connection, or one person to a group connection. Then providing the data that is proof that this one person or this group benefits greatly from the product or service, and then consistent action. So I can't say what does Imelda need to do next specifically with Evelyn until Imelda shares with me what's gone on so far. Okay. In other words, what did you write? What did you say? What did she respond? And it's easy. I sold a bunch of people on LifeWave, all different countries, never met them, never will meet them. It didn't matter. I have a bunch of people, you know, in the UK. I have a bunch of people in Canada, a bunch of people in Mexico, a bunch of people in France, and a lot of people in Hong Kong, people I've never met and I never will meet. That's not a barrier to sales. And it's not a barrier to LifeWave sales. And it won't be a barrier for you, Imelda. 
So personally for you, this is for you. You are doing this. You're doing this. <laughs> okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Wonderful. Well, um, yeah. Thank you, Imelda. And um, Addie had her hand up next. So we Hi. will spotlight Addie. Okay. There she is. Hi, how are you? I'm doing well, Susan. Thank you for this opportunity. Cool. Okay. How can I help? <laughs> um, my person will name will be Jerome Jean. Okay. He is married. He is 63 years old. Has six kids, but they all grown. Um, diagnosis, um, hypertension, diabetes mellitus type two, and um, hypercalcemia. So hypertension, diabetes, and what was the third one? Hypercalcemia. Okay, got it, hyperglycemia, thank you. Calcemia, like low calcium. Uh, oh, low, low, sorry. Calcium. Hypocalcemia, oh, got it. Um, and how far has the conversation with Jerome Jean gone so far? Okay, the conversation went as if I had my opportunity when um, there was a death in the family. He had lost his um, child. So I was there for them. And in the event that where they were not able to sleep due to you know the emotions and everything. So I had the opportunity to um, talk to them and I did some tea remedies. And I said, okay, so obviously the tea is not working as much as I anticipated it to. So we're going to try something different, which I've been doing that's being beneficial to me. So I was able to patch them. So in the next day, when I got back, they told me how the patch were for them. And um, they were. And, and so be, be specific which patch and what I were the. the X39 on him and his wife, which um, helped them to um, sleep um, better through the night. And, and the next day when I went there, um, I talked to them a little bit more about it. And I said, well, I will, I, ha I will have the opportunity to talk to you after everything is settled down because I did not wanna be you know, uncaring and interfere and talk about business in that time. But so let's just stop, let's just stop for a moment. So people are going through tremendous grief. Yes. Maybe an even deep shock. Mm -hmm. And you gave each of them an X39. Mm -hmm. Now, understandably, you're not giving them two months free X39, right? So my thinking is that was the time that they really needed them. That was the time to make them available to them and sell them to them. Because in sales, when people need something, mm -hmm. that's when they're open to buying something. Mm -hmm. I appreciate and understand that you want to be sensitive. Yes. And being sensitive, of course, is always essential. But in this case, I believe that the urgency of them getting sleep trumps the need for sensitivity. Okay. And I would certainly encourage every one of us that when we know somebody who's in deep despair, mm -hmm. this is the time that the patches can make a huge difference. Now, depending on somebody's financial uh, situation, the X39, the Eon, and the Nirvana, because okay. if somebody's in, in, you know, in deep despair, of course, it's about endorphins and mood adjustment. The other problem is, you didn't start with the patches and that's a big mistake unless your interest is in selling tea. If your interest is in selling tea, then you did the right thing. If your interest is in selling LifeWave, you made a mistake, okay? Okay, so my reason for starting with the tea is because that day I did not have my supply with me. Doesn't matter. So you could easily what... have a order form in your handbag, right? Or you can, you had a phone with you, so you can go online and you can do all sorts of great things with the website. So no, not a reason. Okay. 
There's no barrier to any of that. And believe me, I, I don't suggest that anybody spend thousands and thousands of dollars a year giving away patches. It's not required. Okay. Well, I appreciate that. And um, now I have a potential person that I'm planning to reach out. Um, I will name him Claude. And also, I would absolutely go back to Jerome Jean and his wife, of course. I'm only trying, I'm, you know, I'm only trying to make life faster, easier, richer for you. That's yeah. all. Yes. Okay. So I, Claude I, is the I'm next I'm planning one. on reaching out to him and making that one of my calls. So good, my good. potential that I'm, I want to reach out to, but I want to know the best way to be effective and talk to them. So I have the open door because um, I took care of his sister, whom he was the power of attorney for. So we have the phone number communication kind of thing. He will call me every once in a while. So I will name him Claude. Um, I know Claude is about uh, 61. Um, he is a retired pediatrician um, diagnosed with um, Parkinson's. Uh -huh. And Perfect. Um, yes, diagnosed with Parkinson's. Um, I know money is not an issue if he was to decide to try this. Um, so before wife, you can, so before ahead. you continue, mm -hmm. so you, you were a healthcare worker, you took care of his mother. I did actually you have my, um, private duty, uh, home care that, um, yeah, I have a private duty home care. Where Perfect. That's what I, that's what I assume. So yes. you are and I'm a certified nursing assistant as well. So I was able to Beautiful. provide the care as a company and as fabulous. an individual. Yes. Okay, fabulous. And can I ask where you're based? Where do you live? I, I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Yes. So that's fabulous. Yes. So this is a training specific to you mm -hmm. because anyone else who's not a healthcare professional, it's different. Mm -hmm. Linda, of course, you were in the stem cell business, so you are a healthcare professional. And, you know, for some of us, we have enough experience about it, so we can kind of, you know, fudge the line a little bit. But in your case, it's perfect. Now, have you seen the videos of LifeWave and Parkinson's patients and how quickly the tremors stopped? Have you seen those? I've actually been doing the research before I knew that I would have the opportunity to talk to you. So one of the things that I do with my team, I go on every day, I make it my business to go and do research um, about those kind of things. So I saw the video about Parkinson's. So, so how always, many, how many did you say? There are different, there, are saw, different ones. there was two videos that I saw and then I put them on my own library as I research and find videos that link to a specific diagnosis. Um, I put the, um, them on the library. So when I need something, I don't have to go search for it. So it Perfect. will already be there. So those two that I've seen, the, re the, the reactions were like very, it was almost immediate. And I know exactly. this gentleman, specifically for him, when he has the tremors and he has back pain that he has to lay on the floor flat until the pain passed away. So he become debilitated with the pain. So you're gonna save this man's life. And we all know that this is not an exaggeration. You know, so his sister just passed away this past week that just came. So wow. exactly. So I, I was kind of like, when I heard I was gonna be on this training and you were gonna be there. So I said, okay, I'm gonna, like you say, I didn't know I was gathering data. But <laughs> so I was gathering data on LifeWave because what I try to do is basically have my facts in order. So because people are going to ask questions when they ask me about something, well, is this going to help me? I want to have something that linked to the, the specific diagnosis that they have that of I'm course. going to watch or there is a study or something about it. So I of had course. The videos and um. I was also looking at some other stuff like for other practitioners that there was a, I do know that he has some cardiac issues as well. And right, but wait, let's, let, let's, make sure, let's make sure we get your question answered. All right. Yes. So the question you're asking, you haven't had a chance to ask me yet. What is the exact question? 
the my my exact question is i know for a fact that i can change this man's life i want to know from the queen of you know sell it um <laughs> how can i call this man and by the time i get off the phone he said i want the diamond um um package and i want it now so first of all thank you okay i'm writing secondly i don't want you to confuse mm -hmm. saving this man's life and money with the size of the package you buys okay now i've sold diamonds to people okay so i've sold a bunch of diamonds to people okay but i didn't sell them to them because i went in with only one intention my intention was and will always be letting somebody know that there is a solution to their problem which is life-changing safe miraculous affordable etc right okay and that i am depending on who i'm talking to i feel like a messenger from god i feel like an angel i feel like you know i'm the miracle worker that i'm just sharing whatever it is i get myself into that headset because it's real now i have sold life wave to a man with parkinson's so i have had that experience as well mm -hmm. so bottom line here's someone you cared for his is this no how did how did you meet claude again i met claude through my neighbor across the street from me okay you did you hadn't said that all right so yeah. you met you met him through your neighbor yeah and you realized and how did you find out he has Parkinson's? Did he tell you or was it obvious? Okay. So I met him to my neighbor who his sister had fell and went and cared for her, for his sister free while they, they couldn't find anyone to take care of her. So gotcha. when I got back, this, the, my neighbor introduced me to him so I can take over and take care of the sister. That's how we Beautiful. Were. Beautiful. Thank you. So this is someone you care about. You cared about his sister. You cared about his family. And you real, you know, I would say, I'm calling you because I know you've been having a tough time with pain. And I know that you, of course, as a pediatrician, you have certain concerns because of the diagnosis you received. I call it the diagnosis because mm -hmm. I know energetically that if I invent a story about somebody having something, a disease, I'm not doing them any favor. So energetically, I'm very careful. Mm -hmm. So about the diagnosis that you received, and I've learned something that honestly, it's a scientific product. It is based on an enormous amount of research. It has a hundred patents. You know, that can only happen when a product has been proven to make a difference. And I would love it, if you're willing, to spend about 10 minutes explaining this to you, because honestly, Claude, this can change your life. So in those moments, I'm having no thought about how much he's purchasing, right? Mm -hmm. The only reason anybody should purchase diamond, honestly, is either because they want the better price, because the Platinum and the diamond, it's $84 each for the stem cell patches. So there's a price benefit. Or because there are somebody who has a whole bunch of people in their world that they're going to sell them to or give them to. That's the only reason. Why does anyone have to invest in $1,600? They don't. Now, you may want it because you're a diamond, I presume, and you want the, you know, the big commission and all that. But that's not what really makes money for people. What makes money for people is the first part of the conversation where you're changing somebody's life and he's a pediatrician and he knows a whole bunch of people and he's got to be in some sort of a group with other people with Parkinson's and now you can save hundreds of lives over time and make a fortune. Okay. How does that sound? 
That sounds wonderful. But um, just a little correction. So the the diamond thing, you know how when you're excited about something, I was just conveying to you how I want to take it home to him, like you know, oh, drive okay. it home kind of thing. <laughs> yes. Okay, good, beautiful. But you know, there there are some people who have a different motivation for any business, Definitely. and particularly in sales, I you know find a lot of people in sales or people who want to learn how to sell and they are either in a a tough financial situation and so they must receive a lot of money or they have a a great you know desire and enjoyment to have a lot of money which is also fine it's just that it doesn't work as well in producing results so people have to be very careful okay well thank you so much miss linda i really appreciate it and um, I've been in cell for some years now. I've done home health, home care, hospice, and um, nursing home. I've done that. I've been successful at my job, but not as a business, doing marketing as a business. So this is kind of like a change for me. It's a different format that I have to use instead of face-to-face -face marketing. So I'm having to do a lot of online and Zoom and so on and so forth. So I really appreciate your input. I will definitely put them to work. And Thank it's a you. huge industry you're in. Yes, ma'am. Every yeah. single person who works in a board and care needs these. Yes. Every single person who works in assisted living needs these. Every single person who works in hospice needs these. Every single person in your industry needs these. So you can be a huge rock star with LifeWave. Yeah. So if I may say, do we, do we, um, well, I just want to get the chance. So yeah. if I have, um, I don't like to use if because I have, mm -hmm. <laughs> I have multiple, um, ha ha I would say I know about three hospice owners. So I know this is not something that they can get, they can bill for because in hospice, you know, every, things that you can bill for brings you revenue. So uh, how can I approach somebody who own a hospice company who deal with people with end of life? I'm saying that the workers need it because I understand all the challenges okay. of talking about the, you know, it's like you go into any skilled nursing facility. Yeah. Every single person in a bed, you and I know, you know, that a lot of these people, you could actually get them out of bed. A lot of people who are in memory care, you mm -hmm. could get them out of memory care now, but that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying because you can't cross that barrier with the family. Yes. However, if you start by having the people who are employed there mm -hmm. have better health and better vitality and better energy, then little by little, they see the family member. They see the committed family member who's taking care of mom or grandma or whoever it is. Mm -hmm. They see them regularly and the family member eventually will wonder where, you know, Where's this vitality coming from? And so it, that's the slower process. All right. Thank you so much, Miss Linda. Thank you. I just want to make sure, Susan, as we have other people, do we have, are we able to do that? Okay. Yeah, of course. I'm awesome. yours. Awesome. So Maya was next. So I'm going to spotlight Maya. Hi, Susan. Thank you so much. Hi. How are um, you? Thank you. Wonderful, thank you. Um, so I uh, originally thought I would like to ask a question about cold calling, but I do have someone that is a chiropractor that um, I would like to reach out to. He was my chiropractor for a short time about six years ago. And he's, he's an unusual chiropractor because he also is very much into energy healing. And he was he lived in India for a while and was very close with Ama. Uh, Amma's a spiritual leader and uh, I know lived in I lived in India so yeah awesome. I, I figured with the picture behind you and um so he he actually channels Amma when he does his healing he channels Amma oh channels my god Amma. I've got I've got such a great Amma story I'll tell you some other time awesome. <laughs> that's very cool so he's a chiropractor he's also does some sort of diksha probably some sort of energy healing which I also do. He channels Ama, and you mean hugging Ama, not one of the yes. other Amas, right? Yes. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. Good. Okay. So, um, so, and it's been about six years since I've seen him or had communication. I just, I get his emails on all the spiritual stuff. Um, so yeah, and he's about 50, he's probably about 65 and he's single 
and a uh, chiropractor, and he's very service-based. He really and is. Where does he live? San Diego. San Diego. Okay. And in California. Got it. All right. So what question do you have? He sounds perfect. A perfect prospect. Yeah. So, so because it's been a little while since I've been in communication with him, I'm not really sure how to start to just call him up, to email him first, uh, send him some information. I'm not sure. Well, so let's talk about why you don't do certain things, right? So sending an email to someone you haven't spoken to in six years is not a plan, okay. right? It just, don't make a cold call colder. Okay. Don't make a cold call freezing. All right. Now, I have done 36 Zooms. They're all on my YouTube channel. And I think, unfortunately, about 20 of them are chiropractors. It was never my intention. I love chiropractic care, but enough <laughs> but the chiropractors. But this is perfect for you. So go on my channel, watch the two with John Harmon, the most famous chiropractor in LifeWave. Look at any of the other chiropractors ones. Uh, I just did a fabulous show today with uh, Dr. Dana uh, Zapala. She's a great chiropractor in Malibu. That's a, that's a great example. That's going to be uploaded in about 10 days, but they're all there. And you can easily say to anybody, I was thinking about you because I just saw blah, blah, blah. And I've been using the same product that this chiropractor was talking about, and it's changed my life. Now, that's not your first sentence, but that's your way in. Okay. Your first sentence, obviously, is I haven't seen you then. How are you? And do you still go to India? Right? Okay. Awesome. And that's, and that's your way in. Now, he's going to say, because he sounds like a nice guy, and he's a, he's a very open-minded guy, Um I'd love some information. The odds are he's not going to immediately say yes, unless you are really skilled at talking about these products. And that I don't know yet. You know, how skilled do you think you are to describe these patches to a doctor? I'm, I just started about four or five weeks ago. So I'm, I'm fairly new, but I, yeah. Not ready. You're not ready to start with that. You are a perfect example of someone who will be great and you need to start with your own circle. Okay. Because there's no fun in trying to drive in the fast lane when really you've just learned how to drive on city streets and now there's a problem, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like learning anything, learning to drive a car, learning to ski, learning anything. You have to learn how to do it and you have to practice doing it and you get better and better. And talking to a doctor is the most complicated sale you'll ever have. So it is not a couple of weeks in kind of job, even if you were a chiropractor. Right. So that's something you want to put aside and that's for your prospect later down the road and Linda will work with you if you're in her line or somebody else will. And you'll know when you're ready because it's when you can explain these patches the way that Linda can or I can, people listen and doctors purchase. And it's just gonna take you some training, support and practice. Does that make sense? Yes, thank you. And the funny thing is I feel more comfortable speaking to strangers than I do to family and friends because and I started with the family and friends, but I'm getting a lot of, you know, I don't believe in it. Why are you doing that? Like I'm getting a lot of pushback of, oh, you've got another, you know, uh, magic cure here. <laughs> kind of thing. Um, so let's talk about that. Let's, because if you're not able mm -hmm. to explain to not, not the mean friends and family. I hope you don't have any mean friends, but not the mean family members if you still have those in your life. But if you're not able to explain to your nice friends and nice family members, then you're not ready and you need to stay home for a couple of nights and learn how to sell the products. And Linda can demonstrate it and all of my videos demonstrate it. I did 36 videos so far because I didn't find anybody else's videos that were up to my standards because I had a TV show. 
And I had a TV show in Santa Barbara for 15 years. And I'm very specific about what's required to convince anybody that anything is worthwhile. And part of it is the quality of the speaker and the quality of the lighting and the sound and the background and information. So watch my videos and you'll get better and better and better at it. And sometimes it's good to study before you take a test, right? Because it sounds to me as if you were like, okay, they threw the baby into the pool because somebody told them the babies can swim. Well, maybe they can, maybe they can't, but I'm not throwing my baby in the pool. Why would I? You know, I want to make sure that that baby can swim first and I'm going to be right there holding the baby up. And so please learn the information. Every single one of my guests who's a doctor is speaking the language that each of us is speaking. Now there are hundreds of millions of people around the world describing this in other languages. And I could do an okay job in a couple of languages myself besides English, but memorize it, memorize it, memorize it. Practice in front of the mirror. Do you know what mirror work is, Maya? Yes. Mm -hmm. Great, perfect then you're gonna be fantastic and it may take you a week. Okay. Then go to someone you know. It's all about respect. Strangers don't have more respect for you than your friends and family. That's a fallacy, it isn't true. But if I handle myself in a certain way with friends and family that I'm diminishing my self-respect and therefore diminishing the respect that they would have for me and with me, et cetera, then that's what I've got to adjust. So it's a perfect opportunity to clean all that up. Got it. Okay. And Thank I you. know you can. Yes, definitely. You can, you can email me any question you have. You might. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Maya. Maya is amazing. She is, she is amazing. So um, thank you so much. And Beth Freiberger uh, was next. So let me spotlight you. Here we go. Hi. Hey. Hi, Susan, Linda, thank you so much. It's been just amazing whenever I can connect and, and catch on some of your videos. So really appreciate everything that you ladies are doing and thank you again uh, for letting me jump on for a couple minutes. I know it's getting late for you. Um, so quick background, I'm a registered nurse for like over 35 years. Um, I love what I do, I'm doing neonatal ICU. So I know wow. too, too many people in different areas, lots of doctors, just, you know, getting the gumption to, this is help prepping me to talk to them, but the, the case or situation I wanted to get the example of, um, I have a, two nurses, I'm gonna focus on one of them. They both have some significant health challenges. The one I'm thinking about, I've known her for a few years, six, seven years. She's had over uh, five or six knee surgeries. One doctor told her she was gonna lose her knee. She's about 56. She's, uh, forgive me for saying, she is ob obese. I was there myself a few years ago, so I know that road. She's got hypertension, um, the bowel problem with uh, um, irritable bowel syndrome. So um, I believe she has hypertension also. So I know she has a lot of health challenges. I have you know, given and shared the website information and my quick, you know, what happened to my husband and I, that I was excited. She's a gal that's very hard to talk to on the phone and I've Wait, tried a couple Beth, times. Beth, just one second. Yes, Sorry, I, I didn't realize Linda had muted me. I'm, I'm, I'm cool, Linda. Don't mute me. I won't make noise. Okay. I didn't, I didn't mute you. <laughs> I don't know that That's so weird. Okay. That, Oops, I'm glad you we, didn't. I'm glad you didn't. We Woo! muted Susan. Look out. Okay. Woo! So, um, <laughs> she's obese and she has irritable bowel syndrome. Is that even yes. possible to have both? I don't know. That's what she's told me. That's so bizarre. So, the, you know, if you hear something in your life that's confusing, you need to ask questions in get clarity because otherwise you're not really able to move forward. Okay, so obviously you wanna focus on the knees because mm -hmm. that's a crisis, right? Right, she doesn't wanna lose her leg. Of, that's, that's just, I mean, even hearing it is, it makes all of us crazy, right? Mm -hmm. So, very simply, you're a registered nurse. You've been a nurse for 35 years. You are a, you know, 
a smart woman who's got all the data at her fingertips and can get all the data about knee recovery versus knee surgery. You can go all over YouTube. You can go on Telegram. You can find it wherever you find it, right? I'm talking about LifeWave related results. You want to email me and ask for the 12 pain relief protocols. One of them is, you know, about knees. And David Schmidt talks about knees and eliminating pain. This is an emergency. This woman has nothing to lose at all by going to the level of commitment to purchase a silver kit or a gold kit. She has nothing to lose. She has everything to gain. And you just have to have enough science to substantiate this, you know? I spoke to a woman uh, just when I became uh, involved in LifeWay, so like two and a half years ago, and uh, she's a big deal stockbroker, and they have a home in America and a home in France, and her husband uh, had a huge career, whatever that is, but P.S., he could hardly walk. And she had tremendous pain walking, too. His was worse, but hers was awful. So I was in their face over the phone. I never met them. I don't know them. Somebody asked me to speak to them. I did. And I said, basically, I, and I was just very firm. Because, you know, they have two homes, so money's not an object. They have a huge crisis, far less than the nurse you're talking about, but they have a huge crisis. And I pressed them. I said, you have nothing to lose. 30-day money-back guarantee. They bought a gold kit. And within 24, 48 hours, her husband was walking up and down the stairs like a boy of about five. He was so yeah. excited. He hadn't been able to take stairs except one step and then grimace and another step and grimace and his whole life. Yeah. But yeah. you have to be willing to go that distance if it makes you feel uncomfortable to do it but you know you're a nurse so you yeah. know that this works you have the science behind it and you just have to focus on having enough of the knee related science mm -hmm. no i've got great testimonies too because i've had some minor knee problems but my knee my husband he's had um multiple surgeries both to his knee arthroscopes and two total knee replacements so oh. we've seen seen him gained so much and he's a little bit older than me he's 71 i'm like you know it's helped him tremendously so it can help so many people it's just such a blessing and just beautiful and just be prepared to have data for her mm -hmm. and a Absolutely. couple of videos for her and the actual protocol or protocols for her and be committed this is a situation where you must be really committed to this person because you may have to be more committed to her well-being than she is because she's obviously someone with all these health issues that's right. someone i say isn't committed to her well-being right you know you don't get to that place overnight you don't get to that place in a year you get to that place by an unconsciousness about the needs of the physical body of the human over a long period of time and so when I look at that, I say, well, this is someone who probably feels it's hopeless to be healthy. And right. you'd mentioned that you had lost some weight, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, and I, I do too. Over, I lost over 60 pounds a few years ago. And, you know, I was in that tunnel or, or the, uh, the cyclone. And like, you know, the doctor's like, you need to get out of it now. And I'm like, it was like the wake up call, like, got to take care of yourself. I was more focused on my husband. I'm like, okay. I got to take care of me or I'm not going to be here. That's beautiful in the case that this is a great story to yeah. tell. Not that, not that I wanted to have to be in the position where I myself mm. lost 30 pounds. You know, not that I want you to be in this position, but since we were, yeah. it's it makes a great story. Yeah. You have to say to her, I remember when, and I didn't realize that I, and right away. This is what you can do and you can do it now and you get a money back guarantee. And I always say to people, I've never had anyone who asked for their money back and it's true. 
Yeah. You know, all the people I've ever spoken to, not one person has ever asked for their money back because of my interaction with them. Mm -hmm. Because of the way I describe the results that other people get, the fact that I send them the 12 pain relief protocols, the fact that I work with them on the day the package comes, where they're putting them, when they're putting them, when they're removing them. It's a level of commitment. And I do it because I don't have a lot of patience for people to stop using them and then they call me and all that nonsense. I don't want any part of it. So this is great. I would love to hear what the result is with her, which may be immediate. It may be two phone calls. It may be a week. Who knows? Beautiful. You have a perfect position here, just like, unfortunately, the gentleman with Parkinson's. This is a captive audience. There's nothing else that's going to save them. It's tremendous. So thank you so much. Really appreciate everything you ladies are doing. Um, before we lose you or we change the, the conversation, are there other of these trainings that we can uh, plug into? Because this is fantastic. Well, in all of my 36 trainings on my YouTube channel, which is Susan okay. Allen 2001, you're going to get parts of this, right? Okay. And perfect. Linda and I have done some trainings. I, I don't know, Linda, have you recorded them? Yes. The phone calls? Uh, the phone, um, I, no, I have notes for that. So okay. I wasn't thinking about okay. sending them out. So, but I can send out notes. Okay. And I'm sure we'll do another one of these. And thank you, Beth, yeah. for asking. Appreciate it. Perfect. Thank you again. Great meeting you. All right. So we have Jess Goldman. Hi. Hey. You're fabulous, Susan. I. I've been in Thank you. Inside, sales, inside sales on um, my whole life, 45 plus years. I'm an intuitive. I work with psychometry, tracking energy and with humans and animals. But I've sold prepay uh, collection agency service in Los Angeles. And they would throw knives at you when you before you barely in the door. So I've the point is I've had a lot of training but you're incredible because you just, you're genuine, you're bringing it real, you're paying attention to the person you're working with. I, I can't thank you enough. So I'm, I'm, I'm psyched. <laughs> and you know, when you just said what you really do, not the collection stuff, but what you really oh, do, I oh got, no, that was I got such ago. chills. I got such chills. Yeah. Like so authentically, you know, it's like yeah. amazing. So I, I'd love you to I'd love you to email me um, a link to, you know, that part of your life. That's very interesting. Yeah, we'll, we'll connect on that. But can I share something with Beth? Yes, because anything. I'm, I'm holding back some, the, you're the, the nurse, the person you're talking about. Um, I don't sense she has IBS. I think they just threw a label at her um, because you can be, a, you can have gastrointestinal problems if you're not absorbing the nutrients and she's obviously obese because she's eating all kinds of junk food and whatnot. So um, it's a bigger problem than that. And my sense is that there's a lot of trauma there. So, so I don't sure know if you, she, can, she if you can approach. Yeah, bring, bring that you. piece in to bring her, you know, be able to even get in, near her body, let alone in it. Right. I'm really very familiar that the whole okay. process that she needs to heal her gut. Yeah. She's got a yeah. lot of information and just... Right. Uh, too many problems going on there what what she's putting in and what's going on for yeah. years it's, thank you and i don't even think it's ibs but that's mm -hmm. right I'm not thank you to... i was i was obviously having one of my psychic moments too so thank <laughs> you both of you yeah. for confirming that yeah because it, it didn't make any sense yeah thank you so i do thank have you. a i have a question yes please i have a couple of questions i think um yeah if we have time so i'm not shy um, I'm not great about talking about myself and the work I do. I mean, just that's a whole other story. Um, I'm a realtor and for 25 years, aside from my, my main core work, uh, my heart work. Um, so I'm not shy, but, um, and I'm very service oriented. I, I obviously, I, I can see the person and that's why I can, you know, help work with them and help them. The network, I've done several network marketing programs, but I have to ask you how I can get over my own hurdle because I 
hate saying it's network marketing. And, I'm, and I've already introduced it to a, a young dentist who did stem cell research for his PhD 10 years ago. And I've introduced it to the gastroenterologist and I'm presenting it to, I have two people on board. I've only been doing it about five weeks. So I, I'm, I'm on it, but that piece is really like painful. Oop, I lost sound. What? I don't know why oh. that's happening. Oh, it's not just me. Yeah. It's... I don't know why that is. And, and, and I'll just add, and then hopefully you'll get your sound back. So, um, she did. I think I un tried to unmute her at the same time and we, I don't know, I'm not touching anything. So I have no idea. And I'm not either. You're back. <laughs> okay. So I have the answer. Yeah. And, and, um, and, the, and I, one of the women that signed on to try it for a few months also hates network marketing, but because I could address her physical needs, she's trying it. Right. But, but it's, um, you sidestep the problem. First of all, the answer is you sidestep the problem. How do you do it? So first of all, I never say it's direct marketing. First of all, I never say network marketing. That was a term we used in the 90s. Right. I never say it's direct marketing because it's not germane. I'm here telling somebody about the most remarkable scientific discovery in terms of de-aging the human body and the brain. That's what I'm talking about. Nobody asks me on what basis is the company, you know, nobody asks me that. I say it is a hundred million dollar company. It's in a hundred countries. It's been a business for 17 years. So I'm selling them life wave patches. I am not calling them off the bat to sell them a business opportunity because nobody is getting into a business unless they first fall in love with the product anyway. Anyone who wants to get into a business before they love the product is never going to stay in the business. So right. don't even bother. That's right. just, you know, I've been in direct marketing before. And Jess, I don't mean you when I say this, and I don't mean Linda when I say this, but there are people who were just like, you know, serial monogamy and serial direct marketing, but that's not going to get you anywhere. So right. you are talking to your friends and clients and relatives and colleagues and whatever it is about the most remarkable product that you ever found in your life, because I mean, it is, and it's a product line and it's completely changed your life. And then the thing you're going to say about how it changed your life is depending on who you're talking to. Yep. Yep. Even if you knew it somebody is. who was in a financial disaster, they're not your hot prospect. That's no. not the person to talk to. And it's that's not going to go anywhere with this. No, no. So, and that's the second, because um, I, I know a lot of people, sadly, who have been sick for a long time. And so financially, they're in trouble. Um, one realtor friend and, and a lot of people who are self-employed and feeling the brunt of the economy and, um, you know, hundreds of realtors in my life for 25 years. So one of them has cancer that has returned that she had uterus, uterus removed. Um, she had a full hysterectomy. So just in, just in the prostate cancer, but just in the interest of time, what yeah. is your question? So, so how to also how to approach the person who is so financially strapped and really, really needs this because it is life-saving. Well, that's not your ideal prospect. That's going to be a heavy lifting. Yeah, so right. if it's someone you love and care about right. and all that, then yeah, that's a phone call. And, you know, I've said to people, and I mean it with all my heart, I've said, if it came down to that for me, I would eat soup. Well, that's, I mean, I, I have said that, that and position. I meant it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, said that yeah. and I meant it. You have to mean it if you're going to say it, right? Yes. I, yeah. uh, but, you know, I'm a business coach. And I'm a life coach and I teach people how to make a lot more money than they were making. And I've worked with, with a gazillion realtors who doubled their income, tripled their income, whatever. So for me, at what level are they really focused on turning their life around? And if somebody has a life-threatening illness, mm -hmm. then the only way they're going to turn their life around is by, as far as I know, using these patches. Right. 
which I'm experiencing to be true. So, and we don't ever know exactly the position somebody's in financially. That's another interesting thing. No, in, in my early days in my uh, Buddhist community, everyone always we drank sake was the t Tibetan whatever. So, so no matter what, people would be complaining, and I would be saying they have a bottle of sake on their table. You know, they have they, people make their choices. That's that's okay. People make their choices. <laughs> That's, and some you people know, are struggling, but but yeah. Well, it depends on what they call struggling, right? Right. You know, it all it all depends on what they call struggling. So, yeah. um, you absolutely make your prospect list, but be careful about who you think is at the top of your list. Yes, and that's where I do the you know the one to ten list that looks like a seesaw. So draw a seesaw. Top yeah. to bottom diagonal. Draw a fulcrum in the middle. You know how a seesaw is yeah. balanced. Yeah. And normally the person who weighs the most, we're talking about kids, is, is the one who's on the ground. Mm -hmm. And the person who's up there is the person who doesn't weigh as much. But in this case, it's a little bit flipped. But you are always a five. So you're in the middle. So put the number five. If you're drawing this on a pen, yeah. right in the middle. Now, when you get into direct marketing, or if you're not a sales professional, you may think that the people I want to talk to are the people who are in big trouble. My cleaning lady, the homeless person on the street, yeah. the person who works in the grocery store. That's, that's me. Now, that, that could be true, but the odds are they may not have the money they need discretionary income. Right. So may not be the best idea. At the same time, you can't talk to the bank president if he's married to your sister-in-law. You can't talk to the CEO of your old company they haven't seen in 20 years. That's a bridge too far right now. Right. So basically, if you're a five, you want to pick people who are four and six on the hit parade. <laughs> and what does that mean? Well, it's, you know, whatever that means to you, basically. But someone who has enough discretionary income for their housing and their food and transportation and da 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 da, and okay, maybe they're going to give up sake <laughs> to buy the patches. I'm happy to say I can have my sake, <laughs> and you know, and I can have the patches. <laughs> yeah. So it's important, and of course, listen. Someone can say no, I'm sorry, or whatever. We don't care. But in the beginning. Balance yourself out. Go for people who are in your circle a little bit more than you, a little bit less than you, people who you know well, people you don't know quite as well. But make life easier for yourself because I don't want you guys who I am taking personal ownership of I, with Linda. I don't want you guys to get yourself feeling disappointed, etc. This is a skill set. You need the skills right. and you need practice and you need support so yep. make it easier i may have just alienated a brand new um client who's selling and buying we haven't met yet but i had left her a message that we needed to talk about life ways so she's, she's hurting she's uh, 74 and arthritic but so, but the the tone of we need to talk is no i didn't say that Okay, good. I didn't say that. Sound like you. <laughs> no, 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 no. I didn't say that. Okay. <laughs> but, but, but what you meant was, I have yeah. an incredible solution to right. arthritic sim symptoms. If that's exciting to you, let me know. I would write that down, everybody. Right. I have an exciting solution exciting to solution. arthritic symptoms or fill in the blank. Yeah. If that's exciting to you, please let me know. Yeah. Now for Beth and for Ade who are healthcare professionals or for Linda who was in the healthcare stem cell business, you can say, and I've read the research and I've read the patents and it's real. Yeah. You can say, if you're me, you can say, I've read the patents Mm -hmm. And I can send you the research and the peer reviews and you can take a look at it if I'm speaking to a doctor, right? Mm -hmm. 
yeah. or what I normally say, because finding a connection between you and their area of expertise is important. My father was a famous surgeon, which is true. So I say that, you know, as if to say, I'm not a moron, even though you're a doctor, you're going to think everyone who's not a doctor may be a moron. I'm probably not. <laughs> and that way you get, you know, either they laugh or, you know, you get closer to them being interested in taking a look. Great. You will be great if you stick with it. Because as you said, Jess, you've just been doing it for a very short period of time. You have an extra gift that everybody doesn't have, which is you can take a, and I'm getting chills for the now the third time, you can energetically see the odds of somebody being open to something. Yeah. And you can energetically see the best way to connect with them about it. And that is a magnificent visionary gift. And then I'm, and then my sense is that I'll be able to recommend the patches with, with different protocols for the industry. Yes. So we'll see. Yeah, I got chills again. So yes. Thank you. That's good. I'm going to be in I'm touch. I'm freezing. With I'm freezing because of you, Jess. Yeah. yeah. So, that, oh, so sorry. That, no, that's okay. It's great. I love it. It's great. When I'm, I'm a highly sensitive person sure. in a professional sense. And so when I hear something that is, um, you know, not rational and practical, but from the spiritual realms and it's, you know, and it's real, that's what happens. Thank you. So, yeah. Yeah. Very thank happy. you. So very happy to hear, connect with you here. And, and all of you, all the best in your journey. Thank you, Patch, Jeff. Thank you. That away. Was, yeah, away. that was really um, awesome. Really, really well, appreciate thanks, it. Linda. And yeah. um, thank you, Susan. Thank you for um, being here with all of us. Uh, thank you, all of you who volunteered to do a role play. I know I learned so much from um, all of the role plays tonight and all that Susan is sharing with us. And it's just so generous of you, Susan, to do this. I'm so grateful for you. So grateful for your wisdom and your uh, ability to, you know, some people can know the information, but to be able to teach it is a, another skill set. And so I'm so grateful that you have that skill set so powerfully. And, um, and, you know, I, I just love your approach and I, I, um, hope this was really helpful for everyone as it was for me, because I thought it was just amazing. So thank you so much. So should we do this a month from, should we do this on the second Thursday, same time? What do you think? Yeah, I think that'd be great. we will do it twice a month if it were me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm yeah. starting with a one a month offer for this next month. I already put you in the calendar once a month. I already put you in. Awesome. Well, of course, you're the psychic, so anything's possible if you say so. <laughs> Yeah, we'll talk about it. <laughs> Wonderful. I really love being with you guys. It was, what, a, what a joy for me. Mm -hmm. And I don't only mean because you're so appreciative, which is wonderful, too. I mean, it's a joy for me to be able to share information, skills, and tools that I have found have changed my life. And because most of you are women and it was just uh, the International Women's Day a couple of days ago, yesterday maybe, I, I just wanna remind us that there's nothing more important to women even today, even in America, than earning your own living if you want to and if you need to. And things change in people's lives. And I do a lot of work with women who have unexpectedly been divorced or unexpectedly become widows or unexpectedly have financial changes. And there is nothing more wonderful. And of course, it's true for men as well. There's nothing more wonderful than being able to earn your own living. And if someone, Jess, says, is this a direct marketing company? I hate da, 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 right? Right. Well, I say the thrill about direct marketing in this case is that LifeWave pays 50% of their income to commissions every year. Wow. I didn't know that one. 
for last year and the year before, they were voted the number one direct marketing company in the United States. In addition, it's a hundred million dollar company that's been in business for 17 years, that is in a hundred countries, that has a huge philanthropic arm mm. that I can share with you, blah, 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 I would say. And so to me, I'm really grateful. And here's the kick, Jess, and everybody else who's interested. I am so grateful they decided not to go the FDA route that costs about $5 million per product. And mm -hmm. that's the only reason they did decide mm -hmm. to become direct marketing, to avoid the time delay and the $5 million price tag of going through all the FDA testing. And guess what? I would say to my friend, Jane, this imaginary person, mm -hmm. patches are FDA compliant because there is no category for something that does not go into your body. Mm -hmm. The FDA is only about products that are ingested or injected. So therefore, Jess, it's something you get those few phrases and you get them down pat and you get to the point where you can say them really fast and the person goes, oh, okay. Now that person who has a thing about direct marketing probably has a resistance to having a standing monthly order, but that's okay. I say, you don't need to have a standing monthly order. You have to make sure you speak to me by such and such a date in April so you don't lose your points if you're going for commissions at some point in the future. That's all. But if you don't want to, you could just let me know when you want me to order more patches. And by the way, the biggest thing I do to make sure that I am not losing business is I do not expect people to get trained on the website. I don't force them to get trained on the website. I am thrilled to say when you are ready to have more patches or you want to try different kinds of patches, please call me. I will answer all your questions and I will place the order for you. Why? Because I remember that it was a, you know, an, a minor Everest climb to learn all the things that I had to learn on that back office. Thank you. Awesome. Wonderful. Thank you, Susan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Again. you. Thank you, thank you everyone. So Have appreciate a, you. Have a great night. Thank you so much. Thank Many you blessings. So much.